Warning, Resident Evil 4 may contain imagery and scenes of brutal violence. While this is pretty awesome, it is just a video game. As such, actions depicted in-game are fictional. If such imagery and actions disgust you or you have a weak stomach, you can enjoy one of my many other Let's Plays. With that said, enjoy! Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 4. In the last episode, we kind of completed all that over there, and then I just ran back here to save... Because uh, I didn't want to go forward anymore of doing it. Um, okay. So we've got the. Yes, we've got the emblem here. Let's go ahead and combine it. Then run, 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 run. Seriously, just run faster. Oh wait, you're hurt. <laughs> you can't run faster. Yep, and then it won't open. It looks like something fits in the hexagonal indentation. Hexagonal emblem. They couldn't make that much more simple, if even if they tried. Or they probably could try. Like, key goes here. You've got the key. Something like that. Alright. What's ahead? I don't know. Oh, I think I do know what's ahead actually. But again, let's check around just a tad. Um, have I mentioned I love Resident Evil 4? Oh, uh, good. Th something I should bring up. I think I did. I think I have fixed my um, microphone issue at least for the most part um, I'm uh, not a hundred percent sure until I'm um, you know after this recording and I, I go and check but I do think that I got rid of the mo most of that uh, noise noises okay um, so there I see some sort of mask. We can't get to it quite yet, viewers. Um, we got some things to do. Agarralo! Zombies to kill. Well, they're not really zombies again, aren't they? We've already established that they're not. So we've got some evil <laughs> guy. Did you th really try throwing that at me? What are you doing? Trying to dodge a shotgun? You're just gonna die already. And how did he? What the? That was not nice. Oh, I better heal. Wow, I literally have like no HP. That's wonderful. You die and you die because I said so. This is. Well, at the time of this recording, this is seven days after April Fool's, but um, I don't know if any of you watched Adult Swim, but I love the Toonami block that they did. I wish they would continue to do that more often, because Toonami used to kick, but... And then it disappeared on us. And I'm not even going to try and... Those... Oh, oh, dude, oh, come on. All the bear traps are... I tripped most of them. Well, the ones in front of them. That would have been cool to watch him trip a bear trap. Bear traps that they've probably no doubt laid, and then more bear traps down here. But why did I shoot the door? I meant to reload. So I'm out of ammo, so I'm not going to reload. Wonderful. I shot a door. When I should have reloaded. Okay. Seriously? Zombies. Let's go. Ah! Oh, I wanted to kick you, but a door got in my way. How wonderful. <laughs> I was going to hurt you, and then a door just happened to get in my way. Back out here, there's some... <laughs> There's some treasure we can get. Open up this, and we have some handgun ammo. Uh, nice little ovens. 
And in this one, the fire's still burning, but inside is a spinal. Or a spinal. I've heard some people call them spinals. I call them spinals. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter how you pronounce them, as long as you just get them. Right? It's not about how you pronounce them, it's about the game. Alright, and then in here is where the elegant mask was. And then again, you notice there are three sockets in it. Um, do I have? No, I don't have anything that goes into it yet. But there are will be things that go into it that, again, increase its value exponentially. Um, I will go over that once I get some of those sockets. And um, once we get to the shop, so I can show you guys the changed values. <laughs> you don't get to throw anything at me. But you do get to get kicked in the face and then knifed in the throat. Fatty. I, I don't know why I said that. That was mean. He probably works hard. And I, I've prob you know, I come into their town and I start shooting and kicking everybody. Yeah. Alright, so up there is where we need to go. But down here, we can get some treasure. And something that you probably wouldn't be expecting. But, um... I got a flash grenade, and I'm going to use... Wait, how many do I have? I've got two, okay. I'm going to use a flash grenade down here. I think I can use them to get... Nope, I just totally wasted that. It's only... I can only use them on the birds, then. But, yes, down here there are fish that you can shoot and you will you can eat them and sell them uh, this big one m mostly you want to get if you can fit him in your inventory he is worth uh, not a lot of money but a decent amount I didn't really want to do that though okay so let's do some rearranging here that we can fit this big boy in our inventory. Aha! Okay. <laughs> it's a little bit of rearranging, but they're actually pretty useful. The fish, and then uh, you can sell it back to one of the uh, guys. And this is the biggest inventory that you can have at this point, so it is going to look a little awkward. Um, and then there is one more fish. If uh, you've been not buying as many weapons as I have, there are two more fish here. I'm not going to waste the ammo. If you can fit them. And of course, the big fish you can eat too. He'll heal a lot more. Uh, he may heal full amounts. But um, I'm probably gonna just going to be selling the fish because they're oddly shaped. And then that big fish is, well, pretty big. So he takes up a, a lot of room. Okay, here we go. More birds to shoot. Um, I probably didn't need to shoot that one bird in front of... Aw, oh, come on, really? <sighs> okay, hold on. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's reload. And then we can pick up the ammo. And I can do one more shot as well. Reload. And pick it up for the stack. Uh, that's the only thing I don't like about uh, this part of the game. These fish take up a lot of inventory space until you can get to another shopkeep. But over here, this is the second pendant that you can get by shooting them down. Brass pocket watch. Well, pocket watch, not pendant. But same, same freaking difference. Uh, is there a snake in this one? No, there's not a snake in this one. I can actually fit that. Huh. Yes, there will be snakes that hide in these boxes uh, soon, viewers. And I don't remember where all of them are. I do want to point this out real quick, though. Th there are skulls hanging off the sign. Does the signpost mean more booby traps? It could be. Well, there was those. We could go around the tree. But then there's another one right there. That's about the extent of those. 
they're just more annoying than anything. I never really... I'm doing a lot more looking around for the LP. I've never noticed this nook right here. Like, I don't know why I'm pointing it out. But as, as much as I've played this game, you'd expect me to know pretty much everything. Okay, so let's flip it up. And let's flip it to the right. Literally, two movements. It, it's, it, it's pretty simple. Yes, more ammo, which I hope we can hold. Uh, a key, insignia key, which we will need. Um, in here, I think there's, yep, more pesetas, pitas, petas. Um, and a note, chief's note. As instructed by Lord Sadler, I have the agent in confinement, alive. Why keep him alive? I do not fully understand what the Lord's intentions are. I would, however, think he'd... <clears throat> He'd keep them separate, not confine them together as he has as has been ordered. I don't expect Lewis would trust the stranger, but if by chance they did cooperate, the situation could get a bit more complicated. If for some reason an unknown third party is involved, I don't think they'd let a chance like this slip by. But maybe it's all Lord Saddl Saddler's ploy, leaving us vulnerable so that this third party will surface if they can if they even exist, that is. It's an unlikely possibility, but if a prowler is already amongst us, then our plans could be ruined. I guess the Lord thinks it's worth the risk if we're able to stop whatever conspiracy is at work. At any rate, it's the Lord's call. We will trust his judgment, as always. So, they have some deep suspicions that are as a third party. There's Lewis and me, and then somebody else. Um, they're all textbooks written in English, but I don't have time to read them all. Uh, let's use the key. Oh god, big guy. Big guy. Leon, get out of it. Get out of it, Leon. Ooh, he's got different colored eyes. That's creepy. Oh, Leon's got weird colored eyes too. Yay! You carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. Ooh, I'm scared. What? Same blood? Yes, Leon. You have the same blood. Aha, uh -huh, that's what they injected you with. Good job. Alright guys, that'll end it for this episode of Let's Play Resident Evil 4. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.